1911, my grandmother was um, the, a debutante. And their charity was the home of the incurable, which was located in this very same building. And she would volunteer and come over and continued volunteering and then be, uh, became a member of, of the board. Then mother became a member. Atlanta's very lucky to have A.G. Rose Homes. And this is my mother. When I first became a member on the board in the early 80s, I was um, on the board of the Girl Scouts of America, and Margaret Purdue was on that board with me. And she, she was just fabulous. And uh, she looked at me one day, and she said, um, Libba, your mother and your grandmother are involved uh, on the board um, with A.G. Rose, and you need to be a member. <laughs> and with, of course, with that, I said, well, of course, I would love to, especially with you there. <laughs> Libba has worked tirelessly to promote A.G. Rhodes. She has showed and shared her influence and her talents with this organization. When I first became a member on the board, there was only one home, and that's what we refer to now as Atlanta. And since then, uh, we have uh, I've been involved in creating A.G. Rhodes Cobb and then creating A.G. Rhodes Wesley Woods. And all three uh, facilities are wonderful. Libba is a class act. She's introduced countless individuals who have helped us greatly. I've learned so much, um, and I, I know my mother and grandmother did, and now my daughter's a member. Heidi is the fourth generation to be uh, involved on the board. It's just such an honor for me to be, have been invited to be the uh, honoree this year, the 120th anniversary. <laughs>